Hey guys, Will here, and let's introduce our filmer today, Jack Driscoll. Hi, the video. I did really short wheelies, and I didn't really like do wheelies because I talked about the technique more. So in this one, the last video was for beginner wheelie-ers. So on this one, I'm gonna teach you how to do a longer one and learn how to use your back brake and go on higher gears. You wanna go on a higher gear, so I'm on two on the left side and one on this side, but if your bike doesn't have a left side, then just go on like one and two and like one and four and stuff like that. Because the higher your gear is, the slower you have to pedal and you don't look like this one you're doing one. <laughs> this looks so stupid. You're, you're like pedaling really fast and it doesn't look good. So yeah, the higher the gear you go, the longer you're going to go. And then you want to learn how to factor your back brake into it. So what you want to do, so you want to grab on it like you normally would. And you want to use your back brake and you put your first finger on it. So you still have control of your bike. And then what you're going to do is when you're really far back in the air, you want to, you don't want to push on it. You literally just want to tap it just a little bit so you can keep in your bouncing point while you're near. So, I'm gonna show a little example of that. Oops. So, I just used my back brake for that and it works a lot better. And my last wheelie video wasn't all that good because I did it about like two months ago and I wasn't that good at wheelies. So this is how you can do a wheelie for like intermediate riders and crap like that. So now here's Jack doing a couple wheelies. So remember, higher gear, go. That was great. So you just wanna have a higher gear, like two and one, and then you wanna use your back brake just a little bit while you're up in the air and your bouncing point. And that will keep you in the air a lot longer. So the key factors of this are higher gear, using your back brake, finding your balancing point while you're up in the air and leaning back. And then you should be able to pedal a lot more slower and it's gonna feel a lot more relaxing than just pedaling really fast and then you're gonna be out of breath. And when you pedal a lot faster, you don't keep it up in the air as long. So, higher gear you go, the slower you pedal and more enjoyable it is to be in the air while doing your wheelie. And then that's gonna happen a lot too. Just gotta learn how to deal with that. If you want, If you wanna learn how to handle loop outs i talked about it in my last weekly video i hope you all enjoyed this how-to video i think it was a short video if you have any questions about it just comment down below but wheelies aren't really that hard to understand so that's why i didn't really talk much about it but if you do have any concerns and questions and crap like that just comment down below and i'll hopefully be able to answer them but hope you enjoyed this video and yeah peace you gotta, gotta, gotta put your finger on it bro you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, ah!